Hi, welcome to Tomb Raider. Glad to have you. Uh, is there anything I can help you with? Oh, you're looking for something. Um, okay, do you have an author, a title, a description of the cover? <laughs> oh, you're looking for a specific recommendation. Recommendations I can do. <laughs> okay, um, so what were you looking for? A sapphic romance. Hmm. Well, there are a few options. Uh, is there any sort of genre that is your preferred? <laughs> Fantasy. Well, in that case, I have the perfect recommendation. Um, fair warning, because she's a hefty, hefty book. Uh, she's about 800 pages long. Uh, but I would really recommend Priory of the Orange Tree. Um, it's like... J.R.R. Martin, but better and gay. <laughs> yeah, I've written myself. It's one of my favorite books, personally. Um, it's very high fantasy, lots of really interesting characters, beautiful world building, lots of suspense. But like I said, she's rather chunky. <laughs> oh, and there's um, a sort of prequel um, coming out soon, so that's also exciting. <laughs> If I have any other recommendations, uh, just sapphic romance or in general? Oh, well, um, gosh. If you're looking for, like, good mythology retellings, I would recommend, um, Ariadna by... Oh, gosh, what was her name again? It's over the shelf. It's over on the shelf over there. It's, like, the cover with, like, the blue and silver. Um... That's really good. Um, if you're more Norse mythology, The Gospel of Loki is also a very good book. Um, or The Goddess of Nothing at All is a really interesting take on Loki's wife, who is barely talked about. Um, if you're looking for something more YA, like political intrigue, fey, romance, uh, The Cruel Prince is a fun one. Um, gosh, I'm also bit of a controversial take, but I'm personally also very fond of the Vampire Chronicles. I know Anne Rice is not the best person and she kind of single-handedly nuked a whole fandom and tried to legally pursue fanfic authors, but it was a different time. <laughs> oh, um, the first book might be familiar to you. Um, Interview with the Vampire? Yeah, like with the movie, that's her, yeah. Perfect casting, if you ask me, by the way. <laughs> but um, if you just want to browse now, um, over there is the fiction and YA section. Nonfiction is in the back. Um, if you're looking for stuff like art, photography, uh, history and all that, that is over there. Um, and may I also direct you up the stairs to our coffee shop. When you're done browsing or you just want to take a little bit of a break, you're always free to go up there. Uh, I highly, highly recommend their freshly baked muffins and their latte macchiato. They're, that's my favorite. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> All right. Hi, welcome to Tom Raider. Can I help you with anything? Uh, photography, that's right over there. No problem. Hi, welcome to Tom Raider. Can I help you with anything? Um, gosh. I'll have to look that up. Do you know the author? Okay, let me see. Oh, um, we're due to get in a shipment of some of her books, but that isn't until next Wednesday. If you want, I can put one aside for you. Perfect. Um, can I have your name real quick? Uh, is that with a C or a K? Okay. There we go. Do you want to pay now or do you want to pay when you can pick it up? Okay, no problem. I'll set it aside for you as soon as I get it in. Bye-bye. Hi, welcome to Tom. Oh, you, right. Um, well, I have your order right here. Do you have your proof of purchase? 
I know we know each other, but you know how my manager is. <laughs> Deal? And here you go. Enjoy. Oh, hey you. Is there anything else I can help you with? Oh, no. Like I said, just up the stairs and right to your left is the bar. You can order there. Um, depending on what you get, they'll call your name. <laughs> uh, we do ask that you do not take any of the merchandise upstairs unless you've already purchased it, just to avoid any sort of, you know, accidental spills. <laughs> no problem. Um, and another thing we also do ask, you keep your coffee upstairs for the same reasons, you know? We do, however, have a little bit of a free library right next to the stairs on the right when you enter. There's some books you can browse, some magazines and all that in case you do want to read something and you didn't bring anything. Um, them, well, they're kind of under us, I suppose. They're a freelance barista who wanted to open um, a coffee shop but didn't have the means and the owner decided, why not work together? So we're a coffee shop and a bookshop. <laughs> uh, what I recommended earlier, uh, their freshly baked muffins and their latte macchiato. Okay, hope you enjoy! Welcome to Crime Raider, how can I help you? Uh, cookbooks are over there, right next to languages. Don't worry about it. Hi, welcome to Tomb Raider. How can I help you? Oh, there's a book you're looking for. Um, do you have like a title, an author, or something like that? The title starts with an S. Okay. Um, what was it about? I don't remember. Okay, that's gonna make it a little difficult, ma'am. <laughs> I, I know, I know. Um, do you maybe remember what the cover looks like? Red and black. Oh dear. Um, you know what? Um, is there anything else you remember about this book? Like, the author's first name, or maybe what the main character was called or something? Um, is it for you or is it a gift? Okay, um, is it maybe the person you're gifting's favorite author, or did they mention this book, maybe? Um, okay, how about you sneak into your daughter's room, I know, privacy, um, but how about you do that, take a picture of the bookshelf, and bring it back to me, and I'll see what I can do for you. I know, I know, ma'am, but, you know, it's really hard to find anything if you cannot give me much information. I, I know, ma'am. I know. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll see you when you come back. Bye, ma'am. Have a nice day. <sighs> um, miss, excuse me. I, I thought I said that you couldn't bring your coffee downstairs. For me? That's awfully kind, we didn't have to do that. Oh, you heard the interaction. Ah, uh, well, it's... It's par for the course, I'm afraid. We do get our fair share of Kirins. And th thank you for the coffee, it's very nice. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> do you want to keep browsing a little bit, or...? You just want to chat? Well, we do get busy on occasion, but sure, I have a minute. Why not? How did you hear about our little shop? Oh, you passed by here. I haven't seen you before. I do a lot of staring at the window when we're slow. <laughs> oh, you moved recently. Okay, that's fair. I'm um, glad to have you. <laughs> Oh, well, I wouldn't say we're a staple of the community. We opened like a year ago. Business has been all right. <laughs> um, my great aunt is the owner, but we're not super close family. Um, my manager is a... I have nothing nice to say about her, let's put it like that. And my mom taught me that if you have nothing nice to say about a person, it's best to say nothing at all. 
<laughs> so, how's your day been? <laughs> Listen, I'm not tremendously great at small talk. I'm trying, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, glad to hear it. Mm -hmm. Um, may I also ask maybe a bit of a personal question? You're totally when you're right if you don't want to answer, but may I ask why you were looking for something sapphic in specific? Mm. Um, well, if you must know, I'm also... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should really read more sapphic stuff. Um, all things considered, but you know, most of it's kind of not good. Oh, another recommendation now that I remember. If you want another sapphic book, I've heard good things about The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I haven't read it myself, but I've heard it's good. Mm, yeah, well, I've heard more, like, people talking about it, like, about the book and, like, it existing than about the story, but, you know, word of mouth, I suppose. <laughs> My favorite author? Um, well, like I said, I'm partial to Anne Rice. Um, I also like Samantha Shannon, obviously. Um, Lee Bardugo is also definitely up there. I would really recommend her Six of Crows duology. It's really good. Um, queer characters and it's about a heist and all that. Um, though, Shadow and Bone, you technically should kind of read before it, but hmm, they're kind of hit or miss. It's kind of a situation where you either love them or hate them. There's not really an in-between. <laughs> um, obviously, I like them. But I will admit they have their faults. <laughs> Who are your favorite authors? Mm-hmm. Oh, that actually sounds really interesting. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Gideon the Ninth. I've heard really good things about that, but I don't know why, but I'm putting it off for some reason. <laughs> Do you ever have that when you like really want to get into a piece of media, but it's like not the right time? Yeah, that! <laughs> oh, um, there's a client. Okay, you're gonna go back to- all right, perfect. Hi, welcome to Tomb Raider, how can I help you? Just browsing? Okay, that's fine. Oh, geez, already. Hmm, that's fair. Ugh, coffee, my beloved. <laughs> oh, hey, you're back soon. Did you find what you need? <laughs> oh, perfect. Alright, let's check you out then. Can I have those real quick? Okay, thank you. Priory of the Orange Tree. You're not going to regret this. I promise you. <laughs> uh, and Six of Crows. Again, also really good choice. <laughs> if you want, I can set the other book aside for you. <laughs> All right. More excuses to come here than I suppose. And is this everything or... Okay, perfect. Uh, your total is going to be twenty five fifty. Cash or card? Okay. There you go. Just tap your card. Perfect. Um, do you want to bag or...? Okay, no problem. There you go. <laughs> Enjoy your reading. Um, I hope I can see you around again soon. <laughs> I'm holding you to that. <laughs> Alright. Bye-bye. See you soon.